I gotta program this other button to do the recording. All right, sorry. All right. Hey kids, how about a little extra magic hour? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Extra Magic Hour podcast with your hosts, Tony Castlenova and Park Hopper John. Oh, hey, everybody. Welcome to the Extra Magic Hour. This is the show just for our Patreons. This is show one out of two that we do each week for you guys. So glad that you were here. Tony, how are you doing tonight? Very, very good. Uh, I do want to say I sent an email out last week. Uh, we're going to try and post these videos. I think we're going to post them in a... I think we could do them on YouTube in a private area, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Yeah, we could do that. Is there a way to... To put them all in one place, maybe we should create a private U- a private YouTube channel. This way, uh, they don't we... have to get all the individual links. Oh, that's interesting. Well, they could probably link. We could probably create. We should probably be having this conversation offline. Sure, but, but we could. I thought we could I'd create give a, them a little updated. We, we could create a playlist, and mm-hmm. we could link to the playlist. Mm-hmm. Um, but if we wanted to do individual videos, we could probably make that happen. Yeah. Um. If we created yeah. a whole new channel, then they could just subscribe to that whole channel. True. Mm. Uh, or we could just upload it to Patreon. The video? And have the video there, and then we could still have the, the audio. As the RSS feed? Yeah. So we have the video as one post, and then the RSS feed is a separate post. So people still yeah. be getting the RSS feed. Yeah. I, I think they want some kind of notification. But All right, we'll finish that up. We'll figure out a way well, to get it to you. But, uh, we'll yeah, out. there was a lot of interest in because they like seeing us monkey around while we're doing huh. this. Well, that's okay. All right, <laughs> fine. And All we right. do monkey around. We could also look at maybe Vimeo or something. I looked you at know. Vimeo, and there's a cost now with Vimeo. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Then I guess I guess we'll just have to start playing some, some of by YouTube's standards. And now that we've gotten uh, the music thing sorted out, it shouldn't be a big deal. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, well, yeah, we could do YouTube. That's not a big deal. Right. We could do a playlist or something. Right. Um, we'll figure it out. Okay. Uh, so today, for today's show, we're going to be talking about five refurbishments coming to the Walt Disney World. And unlike some blogs, these are confirmed by Disney. We're not making this up. This is <laughs> this is not something that we were just sitting around. This is getting... fact, not fiction. Yeah, getting baked out of our minds, thinking, hey, man, what could we do to get some more clicks? Let's just... <laughs> yeah, let's make let's some do clickbait. This. <laughs> yeah, yeah, these are confirmed by Disney, so you don't have to That's you don't have to worry about that. Uh, Disney parks are constantly changing. Mm-hmm. Refurbishment is a, is a way of life if you're a Disney fan. Oh, yeah. Uh, but sometimes it's difficult for guests to keep up with that. Uh, operating times change, so the, and the latest news regarding your favorite attractions is not always readily available. Yeah. Uh, so... Attractions, resorts, shops, restaurants, all those things get changed and, and refurbished using the Disney vernacular. Mm-hmm. Uh, so here's some of the big upcoming changes that are uh, either confirmed by the respective parks or at least, uh, I wouldn't say rumored, I would say backed up by enough fact to where it's not made up yeah. uh, in the near future. So this month's refurbishment updates include some unexpected refurbishments to Animal Kingdom, a very short closure at Hollywood Studios, plus the end of a long-running refurbishment at one of Walt Disney World's most popular resorts. Yeah, and if you like Sweet. change, for the fiftieth, Bob is going to make sure you have change because he's adding fifty new things for the fiftieth. Now I've heard that again, and that's coming from a Disney source that Bob is on a rampage. Yeah, but the and but I think he'll he'll things, mention it at much... the expo. I don't. Uh, we don't know. Yeah, but I mean, know. of those, of those fifty things, are they attractions or are they just yeah. fifty experiences? We don't know. We don't know. Or we don't know yet. We'll find I, soon. I I can see him standing up at, in, in front of D twenty three and going, "Okay, guys, we know how excited you get when you come to a Disney theme park." Yeah. So the number twenty seventh thing is waking up at a Disney resort, and you get the opportunity to do that in twenty twenty one. At one of the seven new hotels in the building. (laughs) That's right. That's right. Well, all right. So you take the first one, buddy. Sure. Next, uh, first up, actually, is uh, the Prime Evil Whirl. 
at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Uh, this is confirmed. The dates are now from now till July 3rd or later. They don't have an exact reopening date. Uh, several oh. weeks ago, actually back on June 17th, and I think we had mentioned this even in the regular news uh, show, uh, Walt Disney World Resort released an advisory incoming guest that Primeval World would be closed until further notice due to an unspecified technical issue. And though we still don't know the exact reasons why this is happening at this attraction, uh, Disney has confirmed that the attraction will be closed through at least July 3rd, which means that while they could theoretically uh, see the attraction reopen on July 4th, I doubt that, uh, there's no guarantee uh, that will actually happen. And as of July 3rd is the date best case scenario right now. Guests with fast pass reservations for Primeval World during this extended downtime will receive a replacement fast pass for the attraction of the same tier automatically in their My Disney Experience app. I've heard that what they're doing is they're refurbishing it to guarantee it breaks at least one of your vertebrae. Every time you ride the attraction, <laughs> you know, Dino Land um, doesn't do it for me. It, I, I, I don't know. It needs something. Um, you know, Dinosaur is a very rough ride. Uh, Primeval World is a very rough ride. Um, there's not like a spectacular show over there like there yeah. is in the other areas. Um, well, I mean, uh, unless you count the Finding Nemo. At the at the other just on the other side of it. Yeah, but isn't that considered Asia, the Asia I, pathway, I, or? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I get it, man. I mean, outside of doing the the mm -hmm. Dino Land parties, yeah, there's really you know a dance party in Dino mm -hmm. Land with right. Donald Duck. Yeah, you know, I I don't really, and no offense to Donald Duck, but I I don't really get a lot out of Dino Land. Uh, now, we've got a friend who in me. His, yeah. Uh, we've got a friend. By the way, did you see that uh, they confirm what Woody's last name is? No. You not know this? No. I can't believe. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tease you with this until the end, uh, the uh, to the live show. Oh, I'm gonna go pull out I my know, Pixar book. I know what Woody's last name is. <laughs> uh, so we've got a friend in us mm -hmm. who thinks that Dinosaur is like the perfect Disney attraction. Hmm. And I'm like, yeah, other than it tries to break my back every time I'm on it. Huh. Uh, but, you know, and I don't disagree. Yeah, it makes a great Indiana Jones attraction. Yeah, but even still, I mean, yeah. the attraction, the theming is great. The story is great. It's mm -hmm. just, it's a very rough ride. Right. It seems like every attraction in Dino Land is just, it's difficult on the back. Right. <laughs> or the neck. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. <clears throat> this is a story. The next thing is... Uh, we found out that this story is is not outdated. It's actually confirmed, and it's open now, which is Bippity Boppity Boutique right. is now open at the Disney's uh, Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. Uh, a whole brand-new Bippity Boppity Boutique location has been added to the Grand Floridian uh, and is opening now. Uh, it used to be the Ivy Trellis Salon, mm -hmm. which itself is being relocated into the senses a Disney spa area. Right. So is the Grand Floridian no longer going to be a spa? Because if the salon is taking over the spa area... I think they're just adding this to the spa area. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. So now Disney's announced that this new location will be opening uh, August 6th, which we've heard that it's ready for mm -hmm. uh, taking reservations now. Right. Uh, reservations are, are, can be made through the online reservation system at DisneyWorld.com or... You can call 407-WDW-STYLE. Style. Style. Uh, style. Yeah, we talked about this on uh, last week's show. Yeah. Uh, did we need another Bippity Boppity Boutique? Oh, I think they're going to put one in every deluxe resort. Hmm. I really do. Are and, they gonna... and this resort has in the afternoon, don't they have the Princess Parade? Yeah. 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 It's so, synergy there. Yeah. But but what about a princess, princess or pi I guess pirates over the at the uh the polynesian resort yeah but what what princess are they going to do over at the contemporary oh oh they'll they'll make it work yeah they'll figure it out yeah yeah, yeah. it'll be cinderella because it's close to the castle <laughs> that's well there you go they go low look there's my castle right there 
There you go. Yeah, just go yeah. to the top of the world bar, and there's yeah. your castle. Yeah. There's your castle, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> there's your sign. Uh, next up, uh, the Epcot entrance. We've talked about this quite a lot. This is confirmed, and actually one side is completely gone. Yeah. And it's looking nice. No, I wanted does. to go over there and just like do a cartwheel through that area, but it's just too hot right now. I'm gonna have to. I just want to see you do a cartwheel. Yeah, I just uh, I want to I want to romp and frolic through that area. La la la. <laughs> so you were there when they put the stones in, right? I was there before the stones were there. I've been there after the stones were there, and now I'll be there again when the stones are gone. <laughs> wow. So, for, so, so that's the thing that I think is funny. Mm. There's a lot of Disney fans who are like, don't take the stones away. I mean, they're such a part of Epcot. No. Like, they weren't a no. part of Epcot before, no. what, 20 years ago? Yeah. yeah. Just think what that space could be utilized for. I know, right? Projection shows on the on Spaceship Earth. and uh, They had shows there. I, they were, go look for Epcot. Just Google Epcot Circus at Epcot. Or Epcot Circus or Circus at Epcot. And you will see there used to be a show right there. Right. Anyway. Uh, the project to remove the Leave a Legacy tombstones, as I would like to call them, uh, began last month as work began on the new Epcot entrance design. And we're going to hear more about Epcot 2.0 with the uh, expo, so stay tuned. Right. And now over uh, half of the concrete slabs, well, one side, let's call that the half, uh, of the part of project are gone. The walls are down. So you can go, like I said, frolic uh, among the area now. Um, right. Means we're likely looking at only one or two weeks. Uh, one, yeah, one or two, one. God, if I can talk. Looking at only a week or two more before all of the Leva legacies are gone uh, from wow. the park, and that will be a lot. And I, th you know, they're still doing work outside of the entrance too mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. i don't think that's gonna stop immediately or finish immediately i think that's gonna take a lot more time but at least the uh, tombstones will be gone right yeah. right well that's a it's a step in the right direction now yeah, yeah. uh i i've off i've heard that they're going to relocate the legal le leave a legacy the plates yes the tombstones are gone forever wow all right yeah. Uh, tombstones are now kitchen tables or yeah. kitchen kitchen tiles. You're slicing them. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Coming to a Disney resort near you. Yeah. <laughs> a DVC they actually, uh, countertop. Actually, no, 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 no. They're going into the uh, the um, Gold Note community. Yeah, yeah. Have to pay extra for a Leave a Legacy stone. That's right. Countertop or sidewalk. That's right. <laughs> well, that's a great idea. Or actually. barbecue pit. <laughs> That's a great idea. Uh, next is Voyage of the Little Mermaid at Disney's mm. Hollywood Studios. Uh, and this is confirmed. Yes. Uh, the Voyage of the Little Mermaid show will not be performed at Hollywood Studios on several days this summer, uh, probably due to refreshing the cast. Hmm. Uh, beginning during the middle of next month, well, beginning of January, uh, July, excuse me, yeah. uh, this is going to be a change. So the full lineup for dates for the attraction is, com is not complete. Uh, but what we know right now is July 15th through the 17th mm -hmm. and July 30th through the 1st. So if your little Ariel is just itching to go see the show and you're coming to town over July 15th through 17th, yeah. you're kind of out of luck. I'm sorry. Here's the question. Uh, I just recently saw this a couple of times. And are they really singing live or is that uh, Memorex? I think that the face character sings live. You think Ariel is actually singing? I think, singing? I think Ariel might really be singing. Mm. I know she's talking live. Mm. Uh, yeah, talking, as far yeah. As other, singing, as far as the other sure. ones, I don't know. I haven't seen that in a while. Yeah. If she's singing it uh, to tape, uh, she's a really good lip syncer. <laughs> she well, should go on lip sync battle. <laughs> 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 because that's good. Um, yeah. I also believe that she's not actually in the fins. I believe she's standing. Yeah. Not the room of the magic for everybody. I believe she's standing. Um, and we were saying um, that uh, we hope they're not going to change it or do anything stupid like remove Ursula 
because uh, that is Pat Carroll. And listening to Pat Carroll's laugh <laughs> is just like... It's the best. Gives me goose pimples listening to that, uh, you know, that spiel that she does. So what do you think about Melissa McCarthy being Ursula? Horrible idea. Horrible really? I- yeah. I-, I think the whole thing of... I. Can you real? Can you replace Pat Carroll? Is she? Re- I I don't know. Maybe don't I'm too close to the content. Probably, but I, you know, I don't know if it's a if it's a deal about replacing her. Just yeah. you know, uh, can she I, do that laugh? I don't know. I'm sure Disney's not going to let anything go out that's not quality. Mm. All right. I don't. Know. I just uh, listen when you've been bear hugged by Pat Carroll. You you may be a little bit too close and biased to the content, you know. Yeah. It's funny. Uh, I, I follow uh, Jody Benson on Instagram, and her daughter dressed as Ariel, and mm-hmm. at, at some kind of meet and greet thing, and was interacting with kids. But Jody Benson's daughter is a dead ringer, for Jody Benson. <laughs> I mean, I had to do like a, like a double take. I'm like, is that a right. young? Jody Benson picture? Oh wait, that's her daughter. I was like, Holy "Wow, Christmas, that's crazy." Hey now, yeah. All right, hey, Beaches and Cream Soda Shop confirmed. Uh, this is going to happen now, late August to early winter. Here's what I hope they do there: make it bigger. Yes, please. <laughs> it's got to be the smallest. Food plates on Disney property to eat yeah. in, allegedly. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Beaches and Cream Soda Shop will be getting a pretty substantial makeover later this year and will be closing in late August for an extended time. At least they're waiting for most of the summer. Uh, while the interior is reimagined, though no official closing date has been announced yet, uh, guests can only make reservations through August 25th. Which likely means we're looking at a closure in the final week of August. Uh, work Ooh. on the dining location is expected to continue for several months through the winter. But the good news is that during this renovation, Disney will set up a satellite location. Mm-hmm. So guests can to continue to scoop up delicious ice cream uh, resor- uh, at the resort. Though sadly, the kitchen sink will not be available. I bet this will be in... The old Ariel's restaurant. Probably. That seems to be the catch-all. Yes. When we don't know where to put it up, oh, we got that space over there. There used to be a restaurant. Let's put it there. Yeah. yeah. Let's do something there. That sounds fun. Yeah. Uh, and I'm when sure it reopens chef... uh, later this year, Beaches and Cream Soda Shop will still offer guests the uh, favorite flavored sodas, malted milkshakes, hot off the grill items, dessert options, including the aforementioned A Kitchen Sink Sunday. Yeah. I'm 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 sure that uh, Jeff Barnes is very concerned in keeping up on this story. <laughs> I uh, uh, I like going to the lounge, Martha's Vineyard. Uh, yeah. They have some interesting um, food items, which I think comes out of the Beaches and Cream Kitchen because there's mm. really no place to cook back there. Um, but yeah, I I like going there, and I will tell you, the first meetup I ever went to. When I moved down here, was a Disney food blog meetup at uh, Ariel's. I think that's where you and I reconnected. Yes. And then after that's that, that's where we... I met Bill. That's where ah. I met, that's where I met Rick. That's where wow. I met uh, Panda. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and Tiny Lou Moncello. Oh, Lou. So, um, so yeah, so those are five confirmed uh, refurbishments. Yep. Uh, does any of these things, uh, any of these things, scare you or bother you? I know some people get really, really concerned when they start talking refurbishments. Uh, no, not really. Like I said, the Epcot entrance I think is much, much needed. Uh, I think Beaches and Cream does need a refresher. Uh, would I love to see it get bigger? Yes. You know, would I like yeah. to see a, maybe even a bigger menu? Yes. Um, uh, could they take some of the outside and make it an inside? Yes. Oh, yeah. You know, there's a lot of things they could do there. It doesn't scare me, but you never know with Disney, you know. 
I I I hope that they like for the uh, Triceratops spin or the mm. other one that they're Primeval. refurbishing, Primeval Whirl. I I would love for them to refurbish those rides a little bit to make them a little bit more comfortable mm. and and to make them a little bit more accessible to every guest. Yeah, because those those seats are kind of small. Mm. Primeval. Um. Uh, yeah. Mm. But they don't. None of these bother me. Yeah. But I I just. You know, outside of their flipping cast, I get that shows shows flip cast all the time. Yeah. But what I'm hoping is is they're just not. Well, let's put some a coat of paint on it, call it a day. Mm. You know. Um, but that I mean that's one way Disney keeps everything sparkling, crystal clean. You know. Yeah. So for yeah. for what it's worth. Hmm. Well, if that's the, the case, then why don't you take down uh, Everest and fix the Yeti? Oh my gosh, that'll never happen. <laughs> that's not going to happen. I mean, come on. I mean, they could take it down for a little while, cut the hole to prepare for said, and then during the whatever Disney thinks is their slow season, I don't know when that is anymore, yeah. <laughs> you know, yank the thing out, you know, and then months later go back and fill in the hole. I think there's so many problems with that concept. I think that's what everybody's thinking, mm. but I, I think in, 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 in actual, I think that's an actual problem mm. because of the way that ride was built. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, I, I, when I heard about the Little Mermaid, I had asked some cast members over there, and I was getting really mixed uh, answers depending on who you spoke to. Oh, we're closing it down. Or, we're changing things up. You know, it was like, what, what? Doesn't Disney tell the cast members of the attraction? Like, doesn't Superbird say, "Listen, hey, today, you know, today the shift manager says, hey, listen, you know, in case anybody asks, this is what we're doing." You know. Right. If you ask me, and I can't, I, you know, you're going to love this idea, and I can't believe mm. I'm about to say this. That whole area just needs mm. to be Pixar and oh, be God done yes. with it. Just that whole thing just needs to be Pixar. Yeah. And and so you got Pixar on one side, mm -hmm. you got Star Wars on the other side. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. and just just be done with it. And I don't understand the thing that's bothering me. I think about any of these these changes, and we didn't mention it in this story, mm. is they took the artists you know, Animation yeah. Academy out of Hollywood Studios mm -hmm. and they're putting it in, Epca, in, a, in Animal, Animal Kingdom. Kingdom. <laughs> that makes very good sense. It's just, it's just, a, it's just the weirdest decision I've ever heard. Yeah. But hey, that's the... I do uh, know one of the uh, artists that's uh, going over there, uh, a guy that came to one of my meetups a long time ago. Yeah? About 10 years ago, yeah. I stay in touch with him on Facebook. Nice. He used to work at uh, Port Orleans. He was the door greeter. You know, with huh. the, the hat. The... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh, that's interesting. Yeah. Well, all right, kids. We appreciate you guys being our Patreons. What do you think about the refurbishments? What's mm -hmm. a, what is something that needs to be refurbished? Ooh. That's a, probably a better question. God, we uh, could talk for days on that. Tony, Tony threw out the Yeti, which I don't disagree with. Mm. Uh, there's a lot of rides that you ride, and there's uh, there's missing paint. There's problems. Mm -hmm. Monorail uh, can do a refresher there. <laughs> yeah. So I saw the Monorail Silver. What are you thinking about that? What happened to Monorail Silver? It uh, did I not see pictures on on uh, Facebook that it came out with a new refurbished uh, new paint, and new uh, interior oh. color scheme, and all that good stuff. I didn't see that. Uh, it might have been a fake news. Oh. I don't know. Disney's really got to crack down on that. Wow. <laughs> well, they they wrapped uh, Monorail Yellow in Toy Story 4 characters. So mm -hmm. that. Hmm. Uh, I'm looking to see if I can find anything for it. But what uh, what's something that you guys think needs to be refurbished? Yep. Um, let us know in the comment section below. Let us know how we're doing, what you'd like to see, uh, what you would... Uh, what you would like to hear us talk about, or maybe you've got a great idea for, uh, uh, for a show. Uh, leave us a comment at Disney parks podcast at gmail.com. Uh, other than that, my friends, thank you for being our Patreons. And if we don't see you online, we'll see you in the parks. The Extra Magic Hour podcast is not affiliated with the Walt Disney Company. All Disney parks, attractions, lands, shows, event names, etc. are registered trademarks of the Walt Disney Company.